All right, so let's continue with how to enhance a video game. In this lecture, we're going to work on the high scores and show how to track and give user feedback on the score. So whenever a player keeps playing, we will tell them whenever they have reached the highest score and also keep track of that. Let's go ahead and start. Now, here, as you can see, in this video game, we already have the score on the top left and it says zero right now. It's a bit small, so we're going to make it bigger. No problem. Let's go ahead and select the score that's within the canvas, the score text. And to make it bigger, inside of the inspector, locate the font size and let's increase this. So we're going to increase this and you see that the zero will start um, increasing in size. Now I'm going to go from um, 50 to let's say 60 just to see and as you can see as I'm increasing it it disappears and the reason why is that the amount of space allocated for it as the width and the height is just too small to show it so we need to increase that so I'm gonna go with uh, let's say 200 by 120 and as you can see it's back but it's in the top left and we can barely see it so what you need to do is select the, um, the anchor and put it back to the top left and click on shift and select top left and alt or option and top left for the pivot as well okay so it's, it looks better already and again if it's too small let's go with 100 and it's pretty uh, uh, it's probably gonna need to move it a little bit so we're gonna move the position on the x and here we go so that should be a lot better now you can always press play and check it out and see if the size is enough for you if not then feel free to change it to any size you'd like all right so also know that um, you need enough space because when the score increases the score might look funny because uh, it might get cut so make sure you increase the width to enough uh, if you want to go for like a very high score 250 would do just fine as well all right um, by the way when there's a horizontal overflow as you can see it's supposed to wrap but what I want to do is overflow what does this mean it means that it's okay if somehow the text inside is bigger than the area that you put it's going to still write it and that's exactly what you want for the score you don't want to cut the score right you want it to overflow and keep going excellent all right now what we need to do to we need to keep track of the high scores and in order to do that we need to um, know what is the high score the current high score and that we don't have so we need to keep track of this now there are multiple ways to do that we can create a new file a new, a new script but usually for a high score it's not that complicated here so we just need to save a variable and we're going to do this within the manager so I'm gonna select the manager and go to the manager references script here it is and now let's work on the logic we already have the score inside of the manager references so it should be very straightforward here we go so let me show you that we already have the score if I go up and just look for score we'll find it right here okay so you guys see we do have the score so now let's add the high score public int high score and let's put it to equal to zero and let's save now the next step we need to do is um, load the high score whenever the um, whenever the game load and to do that we can do this inside of the start so here I can just create a new method called load high score here we go so I'm going now to create this method we don't have it so I'm gonna go all the way down of the file and add this method right here let's add it public void load high score now what does this do this needs to get the high score value and we don't have it right now but we need to create it no problem let's go ahead and create it the easiest way is just to um, to go and get it so int high score or just int high is equal to player prefs because we're going to save it in the player preference dot and now we're going to get an int because it's an integer it's a, it's a whole value and we need to say what is the key so the key i'm just going to call the key high score so i will have to remember that the key is high score okay and um, if there is no high score the result would be zero so that's perfect because zero is the default value whenever there is nothing coming back and that's totally fine and uh, now we can say 
uh, we can actually go straight and, and, and do high score is equal to this. So high score is equal to that. All right, and that's it for loading the high score. Now let's create a method to set the high score. So right here, public void set high score. And here int, we're going to put new value. Okay, or new, let's call it new score. All right, now let's write the logic. The logic will be pretty simple as well here. Um, so let's say, let's get the high score. So int, um, so what we want to do, we want to make sure that it is the high score. So what we're going to do is get back the high score int stored value, stored value is equal to player preps dot get int. And here we're going to get the high score value. Be why? Because we don't want to overwrite a, a score that's already higher, right? So we want to make sure that it's not higher. And now we're going to say if new score is greater than the um, stored value, then now we can replace it. How do we replace it? Well, we just save it. We do player prefs dot set int. So we set the value. Now the key would be high score. And the value would be the new score. All right. Okay, but that's not just it. What we can do also is create a new method to say if the new score is a high score. So public, public void is new high score. And this actually would return a bool, like yes or no. And here we'll put an amount. So int score value. And what does this do? Well, it's going to be something very similar to that. So we're going to get the stored value and say return score value is greater than the uh, stored value. What does it do here? Basically, it's checking if um, the value is greater or, or not. That's the logic here. So let me put in parentheses so that you guys can understand. This will return true or false. It basically is asking is the scored value, the score that we're passing, greater than the stored value. All right. And um, it's complaining because I'm missing the semicolon here at the end. So make sure you have it as well. OK, and that's it. So now let's write the logic. We need to do this on game over. And um, let's do that right away. So the game over is in the trigger script. So let's go to the trigger script and work on the logic here. So um, we need to, to get the score and, and check if it's greater or not. So we can, actually, um, we can actually create a new method or do it right there. It's up to us at this point. Um, what I'm going to do is do it once. So I'm going to do it here once. And uh, let's say if. So let's see if the new if the new score is higher. If refs dot score is or actually let's put if refs dot is new high score and let's put refs dot score. So we're checking. So if the score is higher, then we know um, new high score. We have a new high score. And what do we do? Then let's save it. So refs dot, um, now to save it, so that's set high score, and we're going to set it to refs dot score. All right, so that's how we save the new high score. Now let's display the highest score, right? And how do we do this? Well, let's go to the manager references and add a text for the new high score. As you can see, we have a text for the score. Let's add one for the high score right below public text high score all right high score text here we go so this is going to be assigned and um, all the way down on the load whenever we load we want to also update the high score right so whenever we load the high score we also want to update the text so high score text dot text is equal to that would be the high score dot to string because right now it's an int but now it becomes a string 
And we don't, we don't just want to display high score. We also want to display the text high score. So let's go and say, um, let's just say high score. And a plus here. All right, so this is what's going to be displayed. Now you can put a, a backslash n here if you want, so that the high score will, will appear right below. That's up to you. But that's what I'm going to do so that it's easier to read the high score in one line. All right, so now I'm going to save this. But also, let's also do the set high score. We need to update that as well. So here we're saving the high score, and then let's display the new high score. So that would be high score text dot text is equal to, so let's actually copy the exact same line that we do just fine, is equal to that. However, it's not going to be high score here, it's going to be new score. All right, so let's save this, and now let's add the score text. We don't have it yet. So let's go back to Unity. By the way, make sure you don't have any error. Go to the console and, uh, and see if you have any red error or not. Okay, so right now I don't have any, that's good. So let's add the new score. So I'm going to go and take the score text, and duplicate it right click duplicate and call this one high score text high score text all right press enter and now let's move it i'm going to put it in the top right corner so here it's in the top left i'm going to select top right and that's not all i need to change the uh, the pivot so i'm going to click on alt and click there and alt again and click there now as you can see it's to the left, to the, it's, it's a bit to the left, and that's totally normal. That's because the alignment is left. But put the alignment to the center or to the right. It's up to you. So if I put it to the right, it's going to be touching the right. So make sure you select where you want to put it. Okay. And um, what I want to do as well is uh, I could change the color, but I'm going to leave it to this color. But let me make, make it smaller. So instead of a font of 100, I'm going to put a font of 50. Why? Because for the high score, it doesn't need to be that big. It can be smaller. All right, I'm going to increase the height though. I'm going to put the height to, let's say, 250. Why? Because there's going to be two lines, one that says high score and one that shows the high score. All right, so I can save that. And now I'm going to go inside of the manager and, and um, hook connect the high score. So let's go to the manager. And now we see the high score inside of it, the high score text. Yep, here it is and it's empty, so let's assign it. I'm going to select the high score text, drag and drop it inside of the high score text all right i'm going to save now and uh, let's press play and see it in action now obviously right now the score is not going to uh, it says high score zero and that's totally normal so what we have to do is start scoring obviously so now i'm at one i'm at two i'm going to stop there all right and as you can see the high score now says two so that's pretty good and you can click restart and you see the high score here. Okay, so actually you don't even need to put the word score because people will understand what the high means, okay? All right, so that's what I'm going to change. I'm just gonna remove the word score so that it's easier and put high all in uppercase so that it looks better. All right. Okay, and uh, that's it to be able to keep track of the high score.